We're going to explain how to factory reset your Apple Magic Keyboard. There's no physical button to do this. It's all about disconnecting and repairing. One, first, you need to disconnect your Magic Keyboard from your Apple device. This usually involves going to your device's Bluetooth settings and selecting your Magic Keyboard from the list of connected devices, then choosing Forget This Device or a similarly worded option. The exact wording may vary slightly depending on your operating system, Mac OS, iPad OS, etc. Two, once disconnected, your keyboard is essentially in a state ready for a fresh start. However, there's no specific factory reset button or option. Three, to get it working with a new device or even to refresh the connection with your existing one, you just need to put it back into pairing mode. On most Apple Magic keyboards, this is done by simultaneously pressing and holding the power button, often a small unlabeled button on the top or side of the keyboard, and the Bluetooth key, often shown as a Bluetooth icon. Hold these buttons down for around five, seven seconds until the Bluetooth indicator light starts blinking. Different Magic keyboards may have slightly different instructions. Check Apple's support website for your specific keyboard model if you're not sure. Four, once the Bluetooth light is blinking, your keyboard is in pairing mode and should show up as a discoverable device in your Apple device's Bluetooth settings. Five, select your Magic Keyboard from the list of available devices and follow the on-screen instructions to pair it. This usually involves confirming a code displayed on both your keyboard and device. Six, after successful pairing, your Magic Keyboard should work normally with the new connection. This is functionally equivalent to a factory reset as it clears the previous pairing information. Remember, you are not erasing any data on the keyboard itself, as it doesn't store any user data beyond pairing information. If you are having issues beyond simple repairing and are still experiencing problems after trying these steps, it is recommended that you contact Apple support for further assistance. They may be able to offer more specific advice based on your keyboard model and the operating system you're using. They can even help determine if a hardware problem is causing unexpected keyboard